Schools these days are challenged to evolve alongside a dynamic global demand for graduates with new skills and new competencies. Now, Apex Schools looks way ahead into the future to prepare students for this. Joining us on the Business Roadshow today is Mark C. He's the Chief Learning Officer of the National Teachers College and Apex Schools. Hi, Mark. Good to have you on the program. Hello, Stanley. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. All right, let's talk about Apex Schools now. It's offering learning designed for the A generation and innovative education. A look well ahead into the future, if you tell me. And now tell us more about this approach in the way educational institutions must evolve as well, given changing demands. Sure, you know, a short story, you know, Apex Schools back in 2013 was actually established because we wanted to address the need mm -hmm. between you know, the gap that exists between the industry as well as the, what the academe produces. And so in 2016, actually, when the senior high school started, we started to monitor how many of our graduates were able to find gainful employment after exiting senior high school. And I'm happy to share that about 85% of our graduates were able to su successfully land jobs um, even after okay. senior high school, which is quite remarkable uh, considering that some college students nowadays are actually having a difficult time finding jobs. All right. Now, uh, jumping off from that high school foundation, uh, the one that you give your students, can you give us now a sense of how you envision learning for the future and how do you address uh, these uh, gaps to remain flexible and dynamic because you have current programs that actually address these? Yeah, I think learning in the future are going to be more personalized and more customized. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you think about, as consumers, uh, the services that we avail of today, like you know Spotify, Netflix, mm. everything is really based on our preferences, right? Okay. And so, in the future, I think that it's going to be more tailor-fit and customized to the learner, especially given the fact that there are emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence that can aid in the teaching and and learning process. So, who knows? Maybe one day we'll have our own personalized uh, teacher and tutor anytime we want and need. Okay, I see two modes of learning here. You have, of course, traditional lessons or traditional classes. And you have Smart Class, which is a brand mainly under the National Teachers College, or NTC, now, which has acquired APEC as well. Uh, what can you share with us about this collaboration? Yeah, well, um, I think that the merger of uh, the National Teachers College and APEC schools is going to bring about uh, more accessibility because we want to provide um, programs not just in Luzon but also eventually in Visayas and Mindanao and accessibility in terms not just of price point mm -hmm. but also in terms of modality mm -hmm. like uh, you know we're coming off from the pandemic we had online learning blended learning now we're transitioning back to face to face and we also have a program like what you mentioned, the Smart Class, which is our homeschool program mm. uh, that allows any student to actually learn anywhere, um, anytime at their own pace. All right. Are you seeing uh, growth in this sector, the ones uh, that are more attuned to online learning or uh, homeschooling with Smart Class? Oh, definitely. I think uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, you know, homeschooling is quite reserved to just a few people who were interested in this kind of modality. But because of uh, the pandemic, uh, it brought to light that homeschooling is actually a viable option. I think what makes Smart Class different is that we know that parents are really busy and there are times that they can't be bothered. So if you have a kid and they have a question and you're not available, right. they actually need an extra layer of support. And that's where we come in. Uh, we have uh, subject matter experts that are on standby anytime any kid or student is in need of assistance or guidance. All right, Mark, we've spoken to some universities on the program uh, in a rolling conversation, if you will, about hireability of graduates amid changing global demand for workforce quality. Now, how crucial is Apex role now when you talk about how a high school, a good high school foundation can help prepare students better for college and not just for college, even for uh, jobs in the eventual future? Yeah. I think that the important thing to consider um, today is that you can't just build a solid academic foundation. Mm -hmm. On top of that, you need to make sure that you are able to cultivate you know, 21st century skills, skills that students are going to need um, in the future. 
and that's why at APEC we always integrate you know critical thinking problem mm -hmm. solving mm -hmm. because the way we've designed um, our our learning experiences is that it's built around cases and problems and scenarios instead of just the typical traditional you have a teacher stands who stands up and does a lecture and then you do a quiz I think that's quite uh, antiquated now um, I think the future of education should, be, should really be built around real-world learning Okay, so you have real world learning, you have soft skills now in demand. There's also technology, which is at the forefront in terms of competencies needed to build a global workforce. Now, how have you evolved, not just in terms of using technology or technology-driven learning, but in making tech a part of, really, the school's culture? Yeah, well, ever since, it has always been integrated into our teaching and learning process. Mm. Um, in fact, even before the pandemic, uh, we were already using learning management systems. And currently, we are the only uh, Google reference school um, in right. the Philippines. And I think that the way- Google reference, can, you, can you tell us more about that one? Yeah, so uh, you are a Google reference school um, if you are able to really leverage the use of mm. uh, technology like Google Classroom, okay. all of the different uh, applications that uh, Google actually offers for free, like Google Meet, Google Chat, Google Docs, um, you know, these applications. So uh, in the country, we are uh, the only uh, Google reference school. So um, during the pandemic, when we had to kind of pivot to uh, online or distance-based learning, mm. all of our students were already trained how to use these tools. And so the transition from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual right. was quite uh, seamless. seamless. And I think what's important yeah. is when you consider technology for use in education, you're, you're thinking about it at the holistic uh, perspective and not just using technology for technology's sake. Uh, and so right now, as an example, uh, and I remember when I was a student, the mm. only source of information came from the teacher, right? Right. Uh, right. But now you have so many ways to get information. It could be from a website, it could be from a YouTube video, it could be from a podcast. And sometimes it also comes from the experts themselves. Mm. So actually part of the challenge is not the scarcity of information, but the abundance of information and how you sift through and make sure that whatever information you're getting is actually credible, right? Um, and so technology affords us today to allow the students to choose, okay, do you want to receive this information from a teacher? Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want to receive the information from a website, from a YouTube video, from a podcast? I think that is what uh, allows us right. to kind of move towards the direction of a more personalized and tailored fit uh, learning. Right, because really people learn in a lot of different ways. Now going back to what you mentioned earlier about face-to-face -face learning after over three years of the pandemic, which has limited students learning online only. Now, what changed, Mark? I mean, what challenges did you see when we shifted back to face-to-face? -face? Um, I think that there's, of course, in terms of the infrastructure, um, the demand for technology increased. Mm -hmm. And so schools today need to have, you know, a solid infrastructure to support all of the digital tools that we've learned in the course of the pandemic. Uh, institutions that have uh, started to use learning management systems, I think, are going to continue to use LMSs uh, mm -hmm. and they'll make them available in their own institutions. And I, I think that more students are going to start bringing their own devices at school. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's a need for a, a more solid and, and uh, stable infrastructure. Okay, let's talk about Apex schools now in terms of growth. Where are you uh, at this point, your campuses? Uh, we have 14 uh, different uh, locations in Metro Manila and in and, and French locations. Uh, we have two programs. So we have uh, mm -hmm. the standard Apex Agile program, mm -hmm. which is our face-to-face -face program. And we also have uh, our homeschool uh, program, the Smart Class program, uh, which is a program of the National Teachers College. All right, and how many levels are you accepting? Do you accept high school, elementary, or just senior high? Um, for uh, APEC schools, it's from grade seven all the way to uh, grade 12. Okay. Uh, for National Teachers College, it's from kindergarten all the way to college. All right, let's talk about the future now. What other activities or initiatives are you pushing ahead uh, in the coming school years? 
Well, um, I think that we're still... So we have actually started our classes, but uh, we are extending our enrollment until September 30th. So we understand that there are families out there uh, who are still looking for schools and are mm -hmm. probably a little bit late in terms of their enrollment. Uh, they can check us out uh, in our websites. Uh, so uh, they can go to www.apexschools.edu.ph uh, or smartclass.com.ph. Uh, our enrollment is open until September 30th. And they can learn more about the school on your website also that's available. All for now, Mark Seif National Teachers College, Apex Schools. Thank you so much for the insight and for your time. We wish you well. Thank you for having me.